food is a common cause of severe allergic reactions, also called anaphylaxis. These foods most often include peanuts, tree nuts, such as walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts, seafood, including fish and shellfish, eggs, milk, wheat, soy, sesame seeds, mustard, sulfites, which are food additives, and foods related to a latex allergy, such as banana, avocado, kiwi, or chestnuts. You can watch the latex and medications video for more information. Whatever your specific triggers are, having a severe allergy means being alert about your food choices. Whether you're at the grocery store, at school, at a restaurant, visiting family and friends, or even at home. When shopping, read labels carefully and look for products that are free of your allergen. Check food labels every time you shop. Food makers sometimes change their recipes or manufacturing process. New and improved could mean risky and avoid. Even different sizes of the same product may contain different ingredients. Stay away from food products that have no ingredients listed on the package, or if you don't recognize the name of an ingredient, or if there are warning labels that the food may have been contaminated by your allergen during manufacturing. Before dining out, call the restaurant and tell them which foods you're allergic to. Ask if they have special measures in place to accommodate your food allergy. Also, check the menu for possible sources of cross-contamination. Cross-contamination happens when a safe food picks up traces of your allergen from an unsafe food, usually through utensils or sharing the same surfaces. For example, using the same tongs for serving salad as well as seafood. To help avoid cross-contamination when eating out, tell your server about your allergy and ask them to inform the chef and kitchen staff. It's important to keep in mind that cross-contamination doesn't just happen in restaurants. It can occur when a deli worker slices meats and cheese on the same machine, or when grocery store customers use the same scoop or tongs in different food bins. Cross-contamination can also happen at school, or daycare, or even at home. You can help prevent cross-contamination in your home by cleaning dishes and utensils after each use. Remember, it may be nearly impossible to completely avoid your food allergy triggers, but you can be prepared. Make sure you always have easy access to an EpiPen auto-injector. Keep EpiPen in your bag or EpiPen carrier and bring it with you wherever you go, including work, school or daycare, friends or relatives' homes, the cottage or camp. For more information about severe allergic reactions and EpiPen, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Or visit epipen.ca.